Yippee ki yay movie lovers, it's Jan here. As you might have been hoping, Captain America Civil War has two post credit scenes. One which appears just after the credits from the main cast, and another after the full set of credits have finished rolling. In this video I'm going to talk about both those scenes, and just to be clear, there are spoilers ahead, so if you want to avoid those you can watch my spoiler free review right here. The mid credits start with Bucky being tended to by a doctor in a super high tech medical facility, and his metal arm is still missing from when it was blasted off by Iron Man in the movie. We then see Steve Rogers there with Bucky, and he asks his friend, you sure about this? To which Bucky replies, I can't trust my own mind. So until they figure out how to get this stuff out of my head, I think going back under is the best thing for everybody. Bucky is then strapped into an upright cryo chamber and frozen. A nod to the flashback scene in the Winter Soldier film where Zola orders Bucky to be put on ice, and also a callback to how he was put in cryostasis by the Russians in the Captain America comics while they figured out what to do with him. The camera then cuts to Black Panther and Captain America. Steve Rogers thanks to Charla who responds, your friend and my father, they were both victims. If I can help one of them find peace. The Advanced Medical Center reflects the fact that in the Marvel comics, Wakanda is a wealthy and technologically advanced nation thanks to its vibranium deposits. It looks like the Wakandan doctors and scientists might work on how to erase the Hydra programming from Bucky's brain. Rogers then warns that if they find out he's here, they'll come for him, to which Black Panther responds, let them try. The camera then pans away from the medical center to a view of a misty jungle location with a waterfall and mountains in the background and a huge Black Panther statue. So this is a pretty cool for the 2018 Black Panther solo movie, with an intriguing peek at what Wakanda looks like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And with Marvel Studios president and producer Kevin Feige saying that the Black Panther movie has important links to Infinity War Part 1, it looks likely we'll see Bucky brought back for both those movies and possibly we'll also see some Avengers or someone else coming after Bucky in the Black Panther movie. By the way, there's a really cool Easter egg to do with Bucky being shut down in the mid credit sequence. The working title of Civil War was actually Sputnik, and in the comics, Sputnik is a safe word that the Russians implanted in Bucky as a safety mechanism to shut him down in case he went crazy, a bit like how the other Winter Soldiers in this movie turn against their guards. Moving on to the post credits, this scene starts with Peter Parker in his bedroom, with Aunt May calling in to him and asking who it was who hit him. Peter replies, some guy, while he's fiddling with what looks like his web shooter around his wrist. This dialogue is a callback to the airport fight scene, and when Aunt May asks what the guy's name is, Peter replies, Steve, in other words, Steve Rogers. Aunt May wants to know if it's Steve from 12C, the guy with the overbite, but Peter says that he's from Brooklyn, which is where Captain America's from. The mention of 12C could be a little easier to egg to the price of the first Spider-Man comic. And the point about the overbite is a funny callback to Tony Stark telling Cap in this movie that sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. As Peter's talking to Aunt May, he activates the shooter which sends a beam of light up onto the ceiling, but he hides it away quickly when Aunt May comes into the room. May asks him more about the fight and Peter mentions that Steve's friend is huge, a funny reference to his fight with Giant Man at the airport. Aunt May then leaves and Peter uncovers his arm, and the camera pans up to reveal a beam projecting a very cool Spidey symbol onto the ceiling. The film then ends with the words, Spider-Man will return. So this piece of tech is likely something that Tony Stark has made or enhanced for Peter Parker. Remember, we already saw Tony create an Iron Man glove out of a high-tech device on his wrist in this movie. And Peter Parker's device is very much like the spider signal that Peter Parker has attached to his belt in the comics. By the way, given that Tony Stark's former science bro, Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, is currently AWOL, I really like the way that Tony and Peter seem to be on their way to becoming the new science bros, with Tony likely having provided Peter with his new Spidey suit for the airport fight. And with Robert Downey Jr. now confirmed to appear in Spider-Man Homecoming, it's a cool hint that we can expect more tech geeking out with Iron Man and Spider-Man in the 2017 solo movie. Okay guys, that's the mid and post credit scenes from Captain America Civil War. If you've seen the movie already, do you have any cool theories about what they might mean for future MCU movies? By the way, coming up I've also got a cool giveaway for this awesome hardback book, Captain America The Ultimate Guide to the First Avenger, which is packed with tons of cool info and images about Cap's 75 year history in Marvel Comics. That's going to be on my full Easter egg guide for Civil War, so make sure you're subbed to see that. And if you want to check out more of my videos on Civil War, you can click here for my full Easter egg video guide to the movie, and here for my full Civil War playlist with my review, cast interviews and lots more. If you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and see you next time, you be guy movie lovers!